tuning in. This is Optobotomist I'm just coming at you with another video review. This time I'm doing a, a re-review type of a thing of uh, classic Skyfire, or Jetfire, as he's technically referred to as, but I'm going to call him Skyfire because I like Skyfire. Uh, I, I did this review some time ago, took it off, and it was requested again, so I thought I would put it up. So here it is. Skyfire. Nice. That, now again, this isn't through the classics line, and it's through the first classic line. So this is a very nice version of the figure. Uh, the classics too, but it's kind of got away from the the overall s just beauty, I, I guess you would say, of a of a figure. Um, this is a really nice representation. This isn't the Henke version. The Henke is a little bit more accurate, but this one is plenty fine for me. I, I like it. I picked it up s a long time ago. So, as you can see, he's got his giant thrusters thing on the top. They are posable. You can move them around whichever direction you want to. He's got landing gear, obviously. I keep his weapons and everything in his... See, you can kind of make out... I mean, he's... You can kind of make out pretty much everything that he is in this. Uh, there you see his legs. These are his arms. It's fairly simple transformation. But I keep the guns, and probably a lot of people do this too, keep them in his fists, which are right back here. So it makes it look like he's got a shit ton of firepower down there. He does have missiles at fire, and whoop, There they go! Blue missiles of flaming death! Uh, so overall, this is a really nice figure. Now you can remove this bit. Just tabs in there, but you gotta make sure that you put this back down. And extending these straight up will give you a regular fighter jet. Uh, this is this is a little bit smaller looking. It's obviously more jet looking than when you have this gizmo on there. But this is like power mode. So this is this is a really nice looking jet. I really like the way this looks. You got some gun turrets here, kind of. I think they're guns. I, I think maybe. But overall, nice paneling detail on here throughout the entire figure. So you can see there have been there, there's been a there's been a decrease in quality going from the classic 1.0 to the 2.0 line. And one thing I noticed that they got rid of was the rub symbol. Those aren't on the 2.0s. You can't extend these wings out more. Uh, now, if I'm not I, I don't even know. I don't know enough about jets. I'm doing a lot of jet reviews today. I'm also going to be doing this guy with, with his thing messed up. I'm going to be doing this guy, so stay tuned for that one as well. But I don't know a lot about jets, so I don't know. that Maybe this is just cruising mode, and then he makes him go back, make him go faster or something of that nature. I don't know. It's weird. But to transform him, first... Go ahead and put the landing gear away, which just folds up into the knees and everything. Now you can take the guns out, which will combine to one gun. So I'm going to set those off to the side for now. And and, and again, this is a really simple transformation. You depeg the arms here, like so. Rotate this part up, the black piece. Rotate the black piece up and around. and then rotate the arms down and you have his arms where they need to be come around here to the back kind of fold these back up and then you need to detach this back section that'll come loose just loosen that up and then you can extend the legs outward and they just peg together take the feet and they automatically both sides will split when you move one out very nice Come around here, you want to fold this little bit down. This is kind of a big guy. Here's his head, so his head will expose and then rotate his head. Bring this bit up. And you have a hole right here that this little peg will go into. Put that in there nicely. Then this, you need to lift this out. Here's his head in combined mode not combined mode, super mode. I'm going to set this off to the side for now. I'll show you that here in a minute. Fold this bit down. Take these sides up and they fold inward. Like so. And then you put the chest piece back. 
And now you can put, I mean, you can put the wings whichever way you really want. I suppose putting it like that looks a little bit more accurate. And there you have Jetfire, Skyfire, whichever you choose to call them in robot, original robot mode. Now when I say original robot mode, he doesn't, he didn't really look this way in the cartoon. He, had a, he was a little bit more amped up in the cartoon. And I'll show you that here in a momento. His head is on a ball joint so it can do everything that you want it to do, including looking up for flying mode. I guess. His arms will rotate 360 degrees, but because of the, the back wing pieces, they kind of stop. They go in and out of the arm, shoulder, bend at the elbow. Everything on here is like really tight in his hands. His fists will rotate. No articulation in his waist, but his legs will move back and forth. Bend at the knee. All that fantastic jazz. Fairly poseable figure. Very nice figure. I really do like the way this guy looks. Now, Combined super mode, first, you take this little doodad, and he just plugs right on. I mean, he's got a back hole here, so you can just slide it right on. There's that. And this little bit will go right in here. You got the tabs, and you got the holes. And you got to kind of push hard, because they're big sucking tabs. There you go. Now that does make him seriously back heavy, so he will want to topple over and fall. As you see, he's got the missile still pointing out, and then the gun just pegs together, and you got one big double barrel gun. Plug that in his hand. And like I said, he, he do, it does make him very back heavy. Yeah, see? He'll stand there, oh. but oh, there he goes. It just depends on how you position his legs. If, if, you, if you spread them out a little bit, they, they seem to get a little bit more posability. But the problem is he's got kind of like the, the power glide problem, where his legs are either like this or they're like this. There's no in-between kind of joints, so you kind of got to spread them and hope he stays like that. But So he, he does become top-heavy with the things on his back. Now they can, if you slide this little bit right here, if you slide this down, a missile gun thing will pop up, not a missile, and you can bend these forward. And now he's super I'm going to fuck you up mode. Uh, power, there, Skyfire wasn't really like this in, in the G1 continuity. Uh, he was more of a pacifist. He didn't like fighting. He actually came to Earth with Starscream as a scientist. They were friends back in those days and he crash landed as he tried to get closer to Earth into the Arctic shelf or something of that nature, a very cold place. When he did that, he remained frozen there for many, many years until the Decepticons found him while they were trying to dig, drill to Earth, the core of Earth, I believe it was. Um, I'm, I don't recall the episode that it was in, but they wanted to get more energon and they discovered him. When they did, Starscream recognized him and tried to make him a Decepticon. And he did some Decepticon deeds for a little while, but then realized he's not a Decepticon. He doesn't want war. He's a good guy. And he promptly changed to the side of Autobots. So here he is in his, like I said, super mega mode. We're going to just fold these back and we're going to transform them back. So. Take these guys like that, fold that, slide that up. Okay, oops. Now, to transform them into super mega mode, what I'll do is I'll just kind of keep everything on him, like so. I want to show you his face. It doesn't really even look like a face, it just looks like a helmet. It's kind of blah. So, take the guns. And I just put them like this because they're going to be this way in his jet mode. Anywho. So there we have them. Just like so. Now, first what you want to do is you're going to separate this whole bit here. Well, let's, let's get this back piece separated. Unpeg it from the 
the very back, keeping the the silk, the red piece still on there. So you got it like that still. You're going to rotate the head all the way around. Loosen this bit up. You're going to fold this section back out. Fold the nose cone down, and that will just peg together. Lift this up, and then push it down. Hopefully you can see all that because I'm terrible at reviewing things. Fold the wings down. They don't need to be up there anymore. Put the arms up. Rotate the black bit down. Arms up. Rotating the black bit. Down. It's usually better if you only rotate the black bit so you don't get confused. Bring the legs together and they peg together nicely. Sort of. Oh, stuff in the back. Okay. And then just take the legs and whoop, shrink them in. Just like so. And bring this little section down. That will peg down into place and stay there. There we go. Oops. Rotate these little guys around, which I forgot to do. So now it's going to make things difficult for me. You want the cannon shooting forward? Just saying. Cannon shooting forward. Okay. And here you have him in his jet mode again. Again, very nice vehicle, very nice robot mode, very solid in both. The transformation is very simple, yet it's it works for this. It's simple because it's it's a G1 figure, so it should be fairly simple. Oh, and then you have to tab the arms in. There's little tabs right here and little holes here that you can... They don't really stay in there very well, to be honest. But they're there. They barely hold it in. So... It, like I said, <clears throat> a very nice figure. If you don't have this figure, there's definitely something wrong with you because this is a very nice addition to it. Oh, you can also have the missiles or the guns be out in this mode. Sorry. Um, but this is a very nice figure. I highly recommend picking him up if you don't have him. He is probably going to be a little bit more pricey now because you're going to more than likely have to find him on places such as eBay. So... Until next time, guys, this is Optobotomous. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I will talk to you later. Yeah, yeah,